we're out here today um, testing my 2021 Cherco race bike and also have Chad from Chad's Off-Road out here doing some suspension testing. So today was really just all about small refinements on what we already know works really well. Jonty's obviously going super fast at the moment and just see small tweaks here and there with the linkage, clicker settings, just throwing ideas around and just obviously trying to come up with the best package we possibly can. We played with the compression and the rebound on the fork just to work on maybe getting the fork to hold up a bit better. But we found that we could come back to close to where we were already at because there was obviously trade-offs when we did go to those slightly firmer settings. Sort of new to the testing side. I've done it a few times with Chad and yeah, it, it, it's a trial and error sort of thing. So it's nice to be able to try something and um, yeah, obviously if you get something good and you come out of it having a, yeah, feeling really good. Just trying to dial the clicker in just a little bit just to get that fine tune and that initial dive of the forks in the corners. So just trying to get a little bit more, just to try for him just to get a bit more chassis stabilization coming into the corners to try to keep the front end up just that little bit higher. Mid to top it's pretty good, but bottom end it's like real flat. Jonty's basically running what we do with the KYB suspension. Several things, SK fork seals, we're talking about the merge progressive inner chamber springs, we're talking about the MX Tech low section piston band, these forks have got Kashima coated outer tubes as well as DLC inner tubes, and there's just the settings we've come up over the last little bit internally with the suspension. It just all leads to a package that works really well. I was pretty comfortable with what I've got, but as much testing you can do, you can try more things, is always fine tuning, so as much as you can, ideally. It's always little experimentation that you need to try just to get the best out of the bike and to actually know, can we make it better? Is there anything about the shock that you're not thinking is working with you at the moment? No, I think the shock feels, yeah, for the most part, pretty good. Um, the square sharp edge bumps and everything, it seems to be going straight through with all that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah, it feels pretty good on the square edge. Like these fast couple of turns here, I can just stand on the peg through there and it feels right. like it squats and sort of goes. Right. So it's important to be able to see how the rider is feeling generally off the bike and on the bike. And then what we can do from there is, you know, really hone in on is there other things that we need to do and it's all these little things like bar setup and all these small things that can make a bike either really good to ride or really not so good to ride and that's where like having a another set of eyes on the job we've had Derek from Sherco here today as well and we've got a good communication going between the two of us so we we understand when I ask him a question he understands that all I need is a straightforward simple short honest answer to the question I've asked and just bounce ideas off him and he has an idea of what's a reason why the bike's doing that and makes it a lot easier.